Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Ooh, Charlotte, Poppy got a promotion. Woo! Okay. Moving <laughs> on up the lot. Can Poppy thrive in this new elevated role in the company being an equal? Is, is, is this a good fit for her? She wanted it, but is this a good fit for her? I think you've hit the nail on the head. She really wanted it, and that is the question. Is it a good fit? I think she certainly thinks it's a good fit, and I don't necessarily think that she doesn't have the ideas and the motivation and the passion to be a leader, uh, but unfortunately, the leadership position she's found herself in is a co-creative director with her former boss, Ian, who, you know, they're pretty good friends, but they also really, really don't get along a lot of the time. Uh, so it was very fun to get to play with this idea of like, what if you get everything you've ever wanted? And then it turns out that it's not actually quite everything that you've ever wanted. Yeah, we have to be careful what we ask for. Yes. When we get it, you're thrown right into it. Uh -huh. So they're right, they're thrown into now. So now they're tasked with doing this expansion. They've got to come together and mesh minds and mesh ideas. Is is planning the expansion like planning a wedding or a funeral? Is it going to bring <laughs> out the, the best and the worst in, in them as all of, as Poppy and, and Ian and everybody else has to collaborate on this big undertaking? I think Poppy and Ian both have very uh, clear ideas about what they think the expansion should be. And the problem now is that because neither of them is in charge, there's no one to say, okay, this is the direction we're going in. And, you know, David, their producer, can try, but at the end of the day, neither of them are going to listen to him. And I think that's where a lot of the fun of the season comes from. What I what I enjoy most about Poppy is even she can be a little awkward sometimes and, and things get a little off kilter, but she's super duper smart. And she's <laughs> the, there's some self-loathing that makes her so endearing. And it's and it's hilarious when you get to do these full out, you know, monologues and, and, and things that you're in. There's a great one that comes up in about episode two or three at the beginning of the season where Poppy has to talk to a crowd. How do you prepare <laughs> yourself to get ready for those big epic scenes like that? I mean, I'm honestly, I'm so grateful to be like when I get these scripts, like the writers on our show are geniuses and I get these scripts and I get to see the stuff that I get to do. And it's truly a dream come true, like as an actor and like as an actor that loves doing comedy, I get these and the scene that you're talking about, I remember getting that and like getting heart flutters to be so excited to do it. And I think that what is a little bit fun is that Poppy is, I mean, as you say, she's goofy and she's kind of a mess and it's fun to get to play with that because, you know, there's less pressure to like get things perfect because often the thing that's fun is when you get to mess things up and then bring that into the scene. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Throughout the course of uh, Pop, not only with Ian, you know, interacting with some of my favorite scenes of yours is when you have to interact with the the artistic staff who are kind of tasked with bringing all these notions to life that they're thrown at them. And you guys discuss with each other so much and I laugh every single time because it's almost, it's like a power struggle and everyone's struggling not to laugh. On those days on set when you're all together, do you come together and have a mantra? Do you put all hands and go break? How do you start the day when you do those big epic scenes? I mean, I, I feel like we have got such a like cool sense of teamwork on set, like everyone, the cast, the crew. I think that we all uh, we vibe off of each other and we trust each other. Um, and like what you're saying about, you know, trying not to laugh. I feel like I'm the worst culprit of that. I'm the person that is completely unprofessional. And those scenes that you're talking about, especially talking to the artistic team, like those scenes were so funny and everyone involved in them was so funny. I feel like I was the person ruining every take by laughing. <laughs> And lastly, we're going to go on a journey with them as they try to get through this expansion, trying to name the expansion, and just trying to see Poppy step into her own as this co-leader, leader, this new role in the office. What's something we should keep in mind about Poppy as we watch her try to challenge, go through these challenges? I think that it's important to remember that Poppy is flawed. 
And, you know, I was reading something the other day about how, you know, uh, people that are really good at their jobs sometimes aren't going to be the best at being a manager at that same job, you know? Sometimes the thing that makes you so good at your job is that you're in the job that you should be in. And I'm not necessarily saying that Poppy shouldn't be a boss, but I think that she's got a long way to go in terms of learning how to do that her way. And I, I, I loved getting to see the ways that she would falter throughout the season. Awesome. Why, thank you so much, Charlie. You're so hilarious. I had fun watching you this season and I can't wait for other thank people so to much. see it. Take thank care. You. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.